Strange Bedfellows is the 169th episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. This had Nielsen ratings of 4.2 points, equating to almost 4.2 million viewers when it was aired on television in April 1999. Plot <inaudible> 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 Thot Gore, High Commander of the Breen Confederacy, presents Dax and Worf to the female changeling as a gift. The Breen are accepted into the Dominion regardless of Dama's disapproval of the treaty and its consequences for Cardassia. In addition, Septimus III is attacked by the Klingons and although Wayan promises to deal with it, the entire 500,000 troops of the 11th Order are wiped out. Dama's mood worsens as Thot Gore is allowed access to classified Cardassian information. The mood in Quark's bar is somber, as the crew misses Worf and Dax. Dr. Bashir's talk leads O'Brien to realize that his friend is in love with Esri. Sisko isn't well either, as his wife begins to be uncomfortable with being married to an important figure in Bajoran religion. During a confrontation with their captors, Worf slays Wayan, though this is ultimately pointless as another Wayan clone will be activated. As Worf and Esri are taken to be executed, Dammer acts on his concern that the Dominion is not a good thing for Cardassia, he frees Worf and Dax and informs them he will help the Federation. Anjol convinces Wynne to walk the path of the Pa Wraiths, by promising that Baja will be restored. However, Wynne receives a vision from the Pa Wraiths that frightens her. She calls on Kira, who advises her to step down as Kai. Wynne, disapproving of this advice, returns to Anjol for comfort, and reluctantly accepts the Pa Wraiths. <laughs> <laughs> 